Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover the installation and activation of licenses on your SCI platform. In the description box below, we've included great resources to assist you, including links to our how-to hub. Be sure to check it out often as we are always updating the content. When we log into SCI, we note that our trial license has expired. Let's resolve this by installing an RTU or right to use license for the platform. If you don't currently have a license, you should reach out to your local sales team to purchase one. I don't recommend contacting Ruckus Support to purchase licenses as they don't possess that ability to sell them to you. However, Ruckus Support is available to assist you if you encounter any issues installing or activating your newly purchased licenses. Once we've purchased our license or licenses from our local sales team, we should receive an email that will look like this. When activating the license, we'll need to have our username and password for the Ruckus Support Portal handy. Clicking on the activation code opens a new web browser and automatically takes us to the license activation page. I've already logged into the support portal, as you'll note by the activation page being displayed here. Here we see our newly purchased SCI Perpetual License. Let's click on the Accept button and then Activate Purchase. Once the license is activated in the tool, we'll need to bind it to a serial number. Let's go back to our SCI tab and note the serial number that was displayed when we logged in. I've copied this serial number to the clipboard and we'll paste it into the licensing tool window. Now click on Validate Serial Number or press Enter. Once the next page loads, we'll need to select the drop-down menu and select the product license SKU that is displayed. Once highlighted, click on Register Device and Bind to Right to Use. Great! This screen shows us a summary of what we just did. We are provided with the product name, the product code, as well as a license code and AP count. On the right, we see that our license is now active and it's bound to the serial number that we provided. Next, I'm going to show you how to add AP capacity licenses. These license types work differently, but are much more flexible. For example, if you purchase a 50 access point capacity license, you have the flexibility of adding 25 of those licenses to one of your SCI instances and the other 25 to a separate SCI instance. This allows you to increase your footprint by purchasing one license pack and applying it to multiple devices. In order to do this, we have to understand that our capacity licenses are added to a pool. Once the license is added to the pool, we can choose our desired quantity to be added to individual nodes or instances. Let me show you how this works. We've received an email containing our newly purchased AP capacity license. Let's click on the activation code. Remember, these licenses must be purchased in order to receive the email and activation code. We are brought once again to the licensing activation page in the support portal. I'll click the accept radio button, then click on activate purchase. Now we see our license info page. Let's click on the Lyman button. We are now in the license manager section, which Lyman is short for. We will search for our SCI serial number that we utilized earlier. It is still in my clipboard, so I'll go ahead and paste it in the search field. As the search completes, we can see our SCI instance listed below. Let's click on the serial number listed. We can see under Licenses that we have SCI Application Perpetual License already active. This is the RTU license we installed earlier. It's bound to the device serial number and has an AP count of 1. We'll obviously need to increase that. Since our AP capacity license has been added to the pool, we'll need to retrieve it and add it to this SCI instance. To do so, click on the plus license button. Here we can see a page with four different fields. We'll utilize the feature name field and drop that menu down. We'll select capacity-SCI, then select search. Please note that with SCI, we don't have a license sync option. In other words, SCI cannot reach out to the Lyman tool and sync licenses that we've purchased. That means we'll need to download and install the license manually. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Add License. Now we'll select Download License File. This downloads our license file to the Downloads folder of our browser. Alright, the download's complete. Let's return to our SCI tab and install the license. Within SCI, 
we see an option to select and upload a file. Let's click the File field, which opens our file browser. Here we have our newly downloaded license file, so we will select that, then click Upload. Bingo! Now we can see the new capacity license in addition to our RTU license that we installed earlier. At the beginning of this video, on our initial SCI login, we were asked to obtain and install licenses. Now that our licenses are installed, we can log in again, and it will allow us to manage our SCI instance normally. Before you go, be sure to check the description box below and access any of the great resources we've provided. Thanks for watching.